space, the final frontier, the vast unknown that has inspired awe, curiosity, and above all, a sense of unyielding determination within mankind. Since the late 1960s, we have successfully propelled our space pioneers into orbit and onto the surface of the moon. Even more recently, we've begun to venture further to planets like Mars with unmanned probes. But this is only the beginning. The next big challenge for humans is to actually set foot on the red planet. However, there are several obstacles impeding such extended space endeavors. One such obstacle is our acute need for clean water. The human body, which is composed of nearly 70% water, cannot survive in the absence of a constant source of hydration, and only so much water can be brought aboard a spacecraft. Currently, large space installations like the ISS can recycle water by distillation, but this process consumes immense quantities of energy and is impractical for smaller capsules. If we hope to one day send astronauts to Mars and beyond, such energy must be conserved for vital shuttle operations. Currently, the energy required to generate a single day's worth of water via distillation could operate a high-powered laptop computer for 270 days. These computers, which aid astronauts in navigation, communication, and data processing, are critical on long space flights. So, is there a way to provide clean water to our astronauts without using exorbitant amounts of energy? We've come up with one. Meet Aqua Capsule, a water purification system designed for spacecrafts that will help launch humanity's journey to conquer the cosmos, one drop, one conserved watt at a time. Aqua Capsule employs a novel water purification technology known as membrane distillation, which uses a thin film to purify water more efficiently than traditional distillation does. Here's how it works. Water circulates in two loops conjoined by a thin polymer membrane with tiny micropores. One stream consists of warm wastewater, and the other consists of cool, purified water. Because the membrane is hydrophobic, no liquid will pass between the two loops. However, when a small amount of heat is applied to the wastewater loop, the vapor that forms can freely move through the membrane pores and condense on the other side. As this process continues, water from the first loop will be constantly transferred to the second loop. Because water leaves behind contaminants when it evaporates, the contents of the second loop will be fit to drink. Aqua Capsule can power the water purification process by drawing waste heat from the electronics aboard the spacecraft. This tackles two problems at once. The purification process requires less energy if it's reusing heat, and the cabin will be noticeably cooler and more comfortable for astronauts on board. With advancements in water purification technology, Aqua Capsule will make long distance space ventures a reality and bring humanity one step closer in demystifying and conquering the final frontier.